Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is Google Android running on a 21-inch monitor. And I'm doing that with this little device called the T518. It's uh, basically a little box that you plug one end into your TV with an HDMI cable, you plug the other uh, end into a keyboard, mouse, or other devices using USB. Uh, unlike some of the boxes of this type, it has a little antenna that helps improve Wi-Fi performance. And uh, what I wanted to uh, show with this guy right now is that not only can you run Android, but you can also use it as a sort of Chromecast-like device. So I was sent this uh, device by the folks at W2Com who are currently selling it in uh, August of 2013 for about $80. That makes it about twice as expensive as a Google Chromecast, a little bit more than twice as expensive. Um, but it lets you surf the web, uh, watch internet videos, do all sorts of different things. And in addition to that, thanks to a new app called Cheapcast by Sebastian Maurer, you can sort of use it like a Chromecast. So I'll show you how that works. Uh, I'm running this app called Cheapcast. And now I can go to my phone, choose a video that I want to play. Can I interest you in a uh, pedicab ride today? Sure, how much? You can pay $20 or you can pay $10. $20 to take it further? And so I've chosen a video, and hit the button, choose where I want to watch it, and up it pops on this device. Now I don't have uh, speakers turned on here right now so you can't hear the audio, but it's streaming YouTube video. Um, it's buffering YouTube video. But basically I've chosen the video on my phone, and now it's playing on the TV, or on the monitor in this case. I'm going to go ahead and hit pause, and it should send a pause command. Play again. Now, it's not quite as smooth an experience as with the official Chromecast, but this is an unofficial tool. There's a little bit of buffering, and not every feature works properly. So, for instance, I've noticed that, um, well, Sebastian Maurer specifically says that it doesn't work with um, tab casting, which allows you, with an actual Chromecast, to open up a browser tab on the Google Chrome web browser on a different device, and stream the contents of that tab. I've also tried it using Google Play videos or Google Play movies and TV. What I've got here is an episode of uh, Monty Python. I'm going to try and hit the button, connect to the Chromecast. It says it's connected, but then it sort of just times out here. So let's show that again. Play and nothing happens. So it's not perfect. It works pretty well with YouTube. Let's go ahead and uh, load up that YouTube video again, and you'll see it switches over pretty quickly. We've got the YouTube app up and running, and it's playing, but it doesn't seem to work as well with um, uh, Google Play Movies or with Netflix, uh, for that matter. Uh, it's a work in progress. It's available as a free download. Um, it takes a little getting used to as I'm trying here. I can't actually pause the video unless I go to my phone to pause the video, but for the most part it works. So let's go ahead and disconnect and take a quick look at the app again here. You can see that you can set the name for your device. I've called it the T518. Uh, you can choose whether you want this app to start at boot, which would allow you to basically use it like a Chromecast. You could turn it on and off with your TV. Um, you can send anonymous uh, analytics data, and that's about it. Uh, there's a donate button because the app is available for free. You can restart the service or stop the service, and uh, that's about it for the settings right now. So that's a quick look at Cheapcast, which is a free app that lets you sort of emulate Chromecast. You can use it on a device like an Android TV box. You could also use it on a phone or a tablet. So you could essentially use your um, phone as a remote control for video playing on your tablet. Uh, work in progress. Not everything's working just yet, but it's free. No reason not to check it out if you wanted to play YouTube videos using your phone or tablet as a remote control for your TV or other phone or tablet or anything running Android. This is Brad Linder at Little Beauty.